The service points in your car that your manufacturer will want you to check will mostly be marked with yellow. In this vehicle, it's an engine oil dipstick. Other cars will have some other things marked as well. Procedures for this will be in your owner's manual. Checking oil is pretty standardized. You want your car parked on a level surface. Turned off, you want to remove your dipstick. Clean it. You can check for fill marks on it. After cleaning it, reinstall your dipstick and remove it to check your oil fill level. If there's a fluid top up you need to do on your vehicle, you want to check your owner's manual and make sure you're putting in the correct fluid. Engines have specific requirements for lubrication and each vehicle may take a slightly different oil. This is something you can either check with your dealer or check in your owner's manual to top up yourself. With the newer model, there's less owner's maintenance to be done. This car is equipped with electric power steering so there isn't fluid to check. It has a non-serviceable transmission so you're not able to check that. That's stuff you'll get handled at your dealer. For checking your fluids on a vehicle like this, they will be marked in yellow. You have your brake fluid above your master cylinder. They'll usually have a line for a max and a minimum. You'll have a coolant. Similar, it'll have readings for high and low. A power steering that'll also have the readings marked on the side. This will be specific to your car and you'll be able to find it in your owner's manual. For checking your automatic transmission fluids on a car with, that is, provides you with a dipstick, you'll want to have your vehicle hot, running, in neutral with your park brake set. Then you can clean your dipstick, reinstall it, and then check it for the correct level.